Mourning the dead has become a part of daily life. Ahmed bids farewell to his eight-year-old son, one of several Palestinians killed by Israeli airstrikes in Rafah in southern Gaza. Here, benches outside hospital grounds become makeshift morgues, where families prepare loved ones for burial. My son is with God now. He left me here alone. The Israelis are killing our children and our women. We are not wanted people at all. We just want to go to work and come back home. <laughs> Nearly four months into Israel's war on Gaza, families say they're desperate and exhausted. First they bombed us in Jabalia, so we moved to Khan Yunus. We were targeted again in Al Muwasi. We then came here to Rafa, but the attacks continue. When the bombing started, I couldn't breathe. I was screaming for help. This has become routine for civil defense and rescue crews, taking the injured to barely functioning hospitals, hoping they'll be treated and survive. Inside, conditions are dire. The floor often replaces hospital beds. The aid shortage crippling Gaza is evident in the few health care facilities still able to offer services. And this is what's left of their neighborhood, much of it now destroyed. Israel has intensified its attacks on Rafah in the south near the border with Egypt. It's the city where Israeli forces ordered Palestinians to go, the city where Israel said they'd be safe. Now, hundreds of thousands of people who were forcibly displaced, some of them repeatedly, have nowhere to go, nowhere to find refuge. I'm still in shock. We were told Rafa was safe, but it's not. My mother was killed in these attacks. Enough, please, I just can't talk anymore. Those who survived the bombings grieve loved ones who didn't and wonder what more Israel's war on Gaza will take from them. Katia Lopez Odoyan, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.